Okay, let's start the lesson. Hope that you can see and hear, hear me. Okay, one is to fifty thousand topographic map is the topic. Okay, what is this one? As we learned just now, it is a scale used by the survey department, and it, and it is the most famous scale. There are many other scales, but this is the most famous one. Okay, what is one? This one means one centimeter in the map. Okay. What is this fifty thousand? Fifty thousand centimeters in the land or the ground. It means one centimeter. In the map equals fifty thousand centimeters in the land. I think the scale is clear. You are not familiar with this number. When I say one kilometer, two kilometer, three kilometer, but the such things are very familiar to you. One kilometer distance from here to there. Five kilometer, ten meters. The those scales are very familiar. But when I say you go fifty thousand centimeters distance, but actually it is not familiar. Therefore, we want to uh, turn this value to a familiar value. Look at this side. You know that one meter has hundred centimeters. One meter has hundred. It is known to you. Further, you know that one kilometer has thousand meters. One kilometer has thousand meters. Is also very familiar to you. Okay. Then one meter has hundred centimeters. One kilometer has thousand meters. Then we want to count how many centimeters for one kilometer. One kilometer has thousand meters. One meter has hundred centimeters. When you multiply these two values together, you will get how many kilo, how many centimeters for one kilometer? The answer is hundred thousand centimeters. Hundred thousand centimeters. Okay. Now observe this scale. One centimeter in the map equals fifty thousand centimeters in the land. Now you know how many kilometers belong to fifty thousand centimeter. One kilometer equals hundred thousand centimeters. It means it means fifty thousand centimeters means zero point five. Means zero point five kilometers. Zero point five kilometers. Now we will convert this scale into a very familiar scale to people. According to this one, one centimeter in the map equals zero point five kilometers. That is the most famous scale. So I hope that you understood this. Concept. Hope you understood what is meant by one meter to fifty thousand. Fifty thousand centimeters means zero point five kilometers. It means half kilometers. Now observe this map area. You think that this is the map. This is the map provided to you. The scale. Used to draw that map, we will say one is to fifty thousand. That is the scale. Okay, 
Now you know the meaning of what is one. One means one centimeter in the map. What is 50,000? 50,000 centimeters in the land. It means half kilometer. If you want to calculate the actual land area, then this is the map. What is this scale? By using the scale, you should be able to calculate the actual land area. Now you are, you are asked to calculate what is the actual land area. Okay, what are the steps? You want to take the ruler. You want to take the ruler. Okay. Put the ruler from here to here. Put the ruler from here to here. You have to measure the length. We will say distance from here to here, we will say 10 centimeters. Okay, 10 centimeters. Now observe this scale. Look at this one. 1 centimeter in the map equals 0 0.5 kilometers in the land. In the map from here to here, there are 10 centimeters. Then how many kilometers? 1 centimeter equals half kilometer. 2 centimeter equals 1 kilometer. 4 centimeters equal 2 kilometers. Now you can understand how many kilometers. If there are 10 centimeters, it means there are 1 kilometers in the land. Hope that you understood that concept. Okay, wait a bit. Hi. On the other side, again take the rule and measure the distance in centimeters. We will say there are six centimeters. There are six centimeters. Now convert it into kilometers. How many kilometers? Six centimeters means. 3 kilometers. 5 kilometers and 3 kilometers. Now you know how to calculate the land area. Answer is 5 multiplied by 3. Answer is 15 square kilometers. Okay, hope that you understood how to measure land area by using this. Okay, another use of this map, another use of this scale. Okay, I erase all this information. I erase all these informations. And look at the next one. Think that this is another map. Drawn to 1 is to 50,000 scale. In that there is a river flowing from here to there. In that it is a river. Okay, calculate the distance of the river. Right? Okay, now you can't use a ruler. Why? Ruler is a straight one. But this is irregular shape. Now what you want to do is you have to take a small thread. Okay. 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 How to do that one? Okay. Put one end of the thread here and lay the thread. Okay. Move the thread when you make a thing. Take a part of the end of the head. From here to here seems to be a straight line. From here to here seems to be a straight line. 
from here to here seems to be a straight line. Here to here seems to be a straight line. Again, a straight line. What the home is straight line or the two to two is straight line or not? When there are bins, you have to divide it into small uh, straight line places. Can you put a big like that? From here to here, very normal. Here, there is a bin. Then you can get the big one. Right? Now, actually you can measure this one using this ruler as well. Then put a ruler class on the negative one. If you use a thread, put one end of the thread here and keep your finger. Now release this hand and put the nail here, finger here. Now again, put the thread from here to here. Put the thread from here to here. And release this hand and put the finger here. By using the next hand, put it here from here. And release this one and put the finger here. Okay, now you can observe that other part of the thread gets this distance. Of that you understood that one. After measuring the entire length of the river, second step is take a ruler and make the thread straight. Take a killing Measure the length in centimeters. Measure the length in centimeters. Think that there are 30 centimeters. There are 30 centimeters. The scale is 1 is to 50,000. It means 1 centimeter half kilometer. If there are 30 centimeters, then the length or the long of the river is 15 kilometers. The same procedure can be applied to measure the rod as well. Right? But I hope that you understood that part. That is the first part of the topic. 1 is to 50,000. But the second part of the lesson is topographic. Topographic. Okay? What is meant by topographic features on land? What are the features of the land? Or look at the environment, think about the environment. What do you see in your surrounding? There are roads, there are maybe rivers, there are maybe a rock. There are buildings, there are vehicles, there are buildings, there are vehicles, there are playgrounds, sometimes there are forests, okay, bridge. Sometimes there are animals. Okay, these are the things in the environment. These are the things in the environment. Okay, are roads permanent? Yes. When you see today, tomorrow, in the next year, the same road can be seen in the same place. It is permanent construction. Rivers permanent constructions. Rock, mostly permanent creation. 
buildings, for example, your house, buildings of the government, permanent construction. Vehicles, no, they are moving. Sometimes there is a vehicle on the road, stop by the side. In the next five minutes, it may move. Okay. Therefore, this is not a permanent construction. Hello? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, man, who picked that? Did my mail? Did. Yeah, grade six other hemis, grade sixteen hitter. I'm sorry. Right? The vehicles not permanent. They are moving. Playgrounds permanent. Forest permanent. Bridge permanent. Animals, no, they are moving. Okay. Therefore, all these movable things, not permanent things, impermanent things, are not topographic features. All permanent things in the environment are topographic features. 